My name is Terry Bowen. I am the training coordinator for the Skagit County EMS Commission. I'm responsible for 19 fire districts and eight municipalities. I think it's a total of 29 fire stations um, and the providers that inside those stations who are medically trained, i.e. EMTs, uh, basic, EMT IV techs, and paramedics, our advanced life support providers. Uh, my department is responsible for training, uh, implementation of new products, uh, and making sure that all of the providers are trained to our medical program director's level of care that he wants us to have. Um, and we consider ourselves top notch at what we do. If you go into cardiac arrest, my part of my job is to train people to respond to that timely fashion and give the best care with the best equipment that our county and their tax dollars can afford. This is a Cardiac Science G3 Pro model. This is what we use in this county. Um, part of the reason we chose it was because maintenance is an issue too. Um, there's very little maintenance. There's no maintenance. If this light is on, the machine is working. And anybody that's checking this equipment, that's all they have to do is look at that and look through this window to uh, see that the pads are expired or in date. So that was one of the reasons we chose it. It's very easy to operate. If you can open the lid, you can operate the machine. We also like the graphics on the, uh, on the screen. And the other thing that we liked was the ability to place this machine in the manual mode. I need something simple like the power heart because 90% of our responders do not read rhythms. They're not trained to read rhythms. Therefore, they are not allowed to use manual override. They have to have something that's simple that detects those rhythms and directs them to shock them as needed. With this model, all you do is push the button push the lid back and open and it starts talking to you and we have a screen here that shows the graphics tear open package and remove pads we believe that escalating variable energy is a positive thing when it comes to treating the patients there are the average there is no average patient you know there are many sizes shapes colors of patients out there and we want to be able to provide the electricity needed to do the job on those individual patients. Peel one pad from plastic liner. So you take the pads out. Peel one pad from plastic liner. And do what the man says. But it also has the capability for trained responders to look at the rhythm, and if they are trained in rhythm recognition, to be able to look at that rhythm, and if necessary, put the machine into manual mode and shock that patient and have the paramedics not have to uh, hook up their life pack 12 to it or any of the other, other equipment to it. They, they can, could just flip the lid, put it in manual mode, and shock the patient, which is a time saver. There's an infrared port here that if your laptop has an infrared sensor, you can just hold the machine in front of it, open the lid, it will go into communications mode. Um, departments can use it. They can download the information from the code, the rhythm, the CPR that's on there, times, time lid was open, time lid was closed. Say, hey, how come CPR was started a little late, appears, or, or that was good CPR and it was started timely, or maybe we need to pick up the spe speed a little bit or something. We can use it for quality assurance and training purposes, and it's easily accessible for us.